Hello finally. again. <laughs> huh? So finally. Yeah, we've been bat not bad at it. It's just that life's been crazy lately, and uh, it's hard to find time just to sit here and talk. Well, we're not making excuses. Today was, uh, I'm literally in the middle of the work day. I'm beaten and bruised up, and I'm... And it's raining outside, so you might hear yeah, rain. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, <laughs> we're still working on my voice. Um, I think it's gonna be better this time because... You just have a very booming... Yeah. You I, project. I, yeah. You're an actor. You project. I, you, okay, that's so cringy when you say that. You're an. I just always think of like, like you used to be on the stage. Oh, I know, I know. I but that's the. I always think of the kids that like grow up acting. And they're so they're so. Yeah, they're hard to be. Well, around. I hate to tell you. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> well, hello. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Um, I think today we're gonna just talk about uh drifting, and sort of how. I mean, I kind of we haven't. I feel like it's sort of a mystery a little bit. For some people, and like how I just like randomly got back into it, and yeah, you know, I mean, we talked about your anxiety and stuff, but right? But not really, like how or why well, you got and then into it. Also, just like you know what I'm doing now, and I don't know what your goal is. Mm -hmm. Our goals are. Yeah, well, it's kind of funny because like obviously, like I I attempted you know drifting years ago. Yeah. Whatever, and it was like I I mean I remember specifically talking trash about it. I was like, oh, it's stupid. Yeah, you know, I was coping a little bit, but I was like, I it was so dumb. Yeah. And um, you're like, everybody's doing this. It's so trendy. Yeah. And uh, it, but it's like, you know, with that being said, it's like, oh, I'm back in drifting. What happened? Yeah. You know, that sort of thing. So, <laughs> um, yeah. What do you think about drifting? It's like the concept is weird. Um, I feel like I've only been in the car once or twice with you. Um, I don't think you've ever drifted. I don't think you've ever. I was in the SC at. That didn't count. No, I know, but I'm saying like that's the only time I have been. It was I was Thank in the you. SC at um, Mineral Wells back okay. in 2018. I was 19. I was linking the course, I guess, at that point. But but it's weird because you're you're looking this way, but going that way. Yeah, drifting's cool because I mean I think I mean it's all about where your eyes are, and so like as a passenger too, that. you'll you'll learn to like you know you'll be looking at the right spot and you'll you'll know how the car's gonna work. But yeah, drifting's cool because. I don't know. I mean, I tried drag racing for a bit and I honestly just got bored out of my mind trying to do that because it's just kind of a, it's kind of a pissing contest. Yeah. You said that in a video recently and there were a handful of people I, that whatever, got butthurt. Dude. I don't know why. I think people just, it's like a, it's like a unspoken truth that people just kind of maybe know and then they're like, oh no, he can't say, you know, it's like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with with drag racing and stuff like it's fun i love like the tx2k like i'm in texas like i'm not talking we're going to tx2k tomorrow talking, yeah i'm not talking smack about it but it's like it's just uh it's i mean it, it's a, it's a pissy contest it doesn't take it just takes money so but i think what's cool about drifting is like you take the skills of hpd or grip driving whatever you want to call time attack kind of you take like the the the, the automotive just driver connection yeah from that and then you combine uh a, basically a drag car and you drag race sideways. Yeah. Like most of these drift cars are built exactly like a drag race or a drag car would be. Okay. Um, same rear end, same axles, same transmissions, all that kind of stuff. And but in, you actually maneuver the car, you know, instead of just you know going for a for a time down a down a strip. Yeah. So it's been kind of fascinating to me. And I think like the I honestly and I can't praise the sim enough. I need to get you on the sim. Yeah. <laughs> I think you should try it. It's fun. I I. Sure. <laughs> what's so What's so scary about it? No, there's nothing scary. I'm just, I'm so used to like, I hate to say it, but like screwing up video games. Like I never touched my brother's video games. I never touched your video games. It's not screwing it up. It's literally just like you click, you get in a car and you drive and then you quit and you yeah. choose a different car and you drive. There's no, there's no screwing it up. That's fair. I just, I'm there's no like progress. It's literally That's you what I'm scared in, of. No, I've you been just hop so into a car. To, like, I'm not sitting mess, there getting, don't delete my footage. Or I'm not sitting there getting XP while I'm drifting right? online. <laughs> But you should try it. I think it's, yeah. it's kind of cool. I think the the sim, I don't know. It's been kind of nice um, because I've, I had always wanted to, especially when my anxiety was preventing me from being, a, being in a car. Yeah. Like I know Aaron Losey. Um, I was going to say, people was, tried to get you in sims for years. Well, it's just expensive and it's yeah. it's expensive. I mean, it's really not expensive, but like relatively it, it's very cheap compared to actual drifting. But it's like, it's also just a... You got I, green paint on you. I got. I'm. I'm dirty. I'm. I've been. Yeah. I'm nasty. I literally pulled you out of a project. But. Yeah. 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 So I'm still in. Brain is still in. Uh, Miata mode currently. 
But I know like Losi tried to get me into it for a while. A bunch of other people did. Mm -hmm. But it's just like it takes up a lot of space too. I was going to say it's we really like, didn't have space until we there, got to this We would house. have had to literally like had uh, had to put it in like a, a guest room or something. You know? Yeah. And that's what most people do. Like they'll put it in like an office slash guest room. They'll dedicate a whole room to a sim. Yeah. Or it's in their living room. You know, some of these bachelors out there, like I know some dudes got stuff. In their <laughs> they don't have so. a couch, but they have a sim. <laughs> You don't you don't need a couch when you got a sim. You just <laughs> sit on that and you watch you can watch TV in a racing seat. It's crazy. It'll be very lonely for a long time if that's your <laughs> your no, only chair. I don't think so. I think there's somebody for everybody out there, despite their uh, um, mental age. How, how how did you even get back into it? Okay, so that's probably better. You had the SC. Well, I guess the SC was. Well, we I had just, it out in I, California. I, yeah, yeah. No, well, I sold. Yeah, I sold the SC. Because I didn't want to drift it anymore. Yeah. Um, I had bought the 350Z. That was four and a half years ago. That was a nightmare. I'm How so glad. I'm, I'm so glad that we sold that car. Are you? Oh, yeah. I always, I, we when took, we sell we took cars. Such, we, we tanked that car, too. We did not make, we lost so much money on it. But yeah. at that point, it was so worth just getting it out of my life. Because it was giving me anxiety just looking at it every day. well i feel bad like i never know when we sell cars like at the time you're like yeah i just i'm ready to sell it and i never know if that's just kind of like a no oh, I, I really don't get attached because to me cars are cars and there's really no sentimental yeah i don't know like the only thing i think sentimental in here is the miata i built with jaren yeah my first car like my subaru yeah and then probably the s13 just because like that's the car that got me back into it yeah um I guess your car, but like other than that, no really attachment to any cars. And even if That's I had fair. to get rid of any of these cars, I'd be like, eh, well, all right. Well, on see, the, the way project. I think of like whether it's cars or any kind of memorabilia, I'm like the memory is still there. Even if you don't have the physical thing, it's like you still have the memory. <laughs> yeah, and that's like the my SC. Like I know the guy that owns it. I we just saw still, it. Um, yeah, and he's like I talked to him and. It's cool because like I get to see I built a car really well and mm -hmm. somebody's out there enjoying it and that's fantastic. I love yeah. it. So anyway, so really how did you get back into it? Oh we, no, we bought the two forty. Yeah, so we just taken, oh no the three fifty. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> we had huh? what are you saying? I said we're all over the place at the moment. Yeah. So I'd gotten back into the drag racing thing and I just got bored of it and I was like, you know what? What was I can't remember exactly what had happened, but um, a friend of mine that I had. Um, what else did I buy from Ashton? Did I buy something else from him? The Supra. No. No, it wasn't the Supra. Anyways, a friend of mine that just flips cars, um, he posted this for sale. And it was just, it was this S13. You yeah. know how I got it. It was just the gray kind of beat to crap. But it was like like 11 grand or something. I was like, I'll give you 10 for it or something. Mm -hmm. um, and it was allegedly a built bottom end SR car that was, you know, had a roll bar and everything. And I was like, you know what? I, yeah, that's what it was. It's like, you know, I saw the car and I was like, let's listen, if I am ever to try this again, it is going to be in one of these cars because I know for a fact, like that, that chassis. Yeah. I know for a fact, everybody can drift, like anybody can hop into an S chassis and learn a little bit better than say some other, you know, some other cars out there. Like a BMW is a lot harder to drive than, okay. than that car. There's pretty similar, but like that car is like almost a cheat code. Um, like a 350, but I just didn't have it. But I was like, you know what? I, I might as well try it again because I've got the anxiety sort of dialed down. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm going to have another shot, I might as well just do it now and learn it. Yeah. And so I think I did a couple events and it, the car kind of let me down a couple times. Well, the first time it let me down. Second time I had a great time. Mm -hmm. And then... It was like hit and miss every Yeah, no, it was, it was good. No, I remember my second time out, I, I, like, I linked the whole track and I was like, holy crap, I'm actually not bad at this yeah but the thing is like drifting is a lot of muscle memory okay um, not only and it, it's like drifting is interesting because how good you are as a drifter is like practice times time okay you know um you'll always get better the more you do it yeah like, there's always going to be something that your brain will associate but anyways i um also learned it was just really expensive for tires and i was like hmm that's interesting. And so that's when I started looking at the sim. Okay. Yeah, I remember Facebook, that. And I was like, well, yeah, I just want to practice. Yeah. And so I can't remember if somebody was like trying to convince me to buy it or not, or if it had just kind of out of the blue, I had seen it on. I think Marcus was trying to convince you to buy one. He already had one. Do you, yeah. Do you remember? 
you did, it wasn't you convincing me because I know you thought it was going to be way too expensive. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't think you liked it. Yeah, I. Gosh, that was so long ago. I can't remember. Yeah, I don't think you were a fan of it, but I was like, listen, babe. You this sold it like, to me because you said one event would cost this and I can do this every night. Yeah, and so, I mean, it's it's crazy because, like, drifting really is expensive, guys. I mean, it's it's amazing. It's such a fun... But even if you have a really slow... Car, like, the Grassroots uh, E46 we gave away, such an amazing car, and it's so good on tires. It's not, you know, crazy horsepower. You still have to... I mean, it's going to cost you... We're going to say $200 in fuel. And, you know, if you got to drive, like, you know, three hours to a track, which is about average for most people. Which I was going to say, in Dallas, there's not really right. anything. So, so you're, you're going to drive. Right, so you're going to drive four hours pretty much most any, anywhere you, you live, and that's, you know, gas expensive. So it's like you're talking $200 in fuel or something. If you get a hotel, that's an extra 100 150 200 bucks. If you that's and that's like if you don't break anything, yeah. If you don't break anything at all, that's great. But if you break a control arm, that's you know two three hundred bucks, a bunch of your time. Uh, tires, you can get the the cheapest tires on the planet. Like honestly, Acceleras are some of the cheapest and best tires out there. Which shameless plug, I got a I got a code for you. Actually, I had a link for you now, affiliate you? link. Yeah, yeah. Actually, if you guys you guys should click on that link in the description for me. It makes me look good. Um, but like Acceleras, I mean, you, you talk about. If you're on 18s, it's like 60, no, that's not, that's not even true. It's like $100 a tire. Okay. You can get like $70, $80 tires and they're going to be terrible. Yeah. But if you want to really learn some stuff, you need a good tire. And so you're talking about, you know, another, so it's like $700 for a track day, really. Yeah. Really. And that's if you don't break anything. And so I think this sim and was like. And that's not even the entry fee. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. And there's some entry fees that are like three, 400 bucks. Yeah. What was the, um. I think it was like, what, I, 25? No, it was like 4,000, 3,000, something like that. What? The sim. I don't remember how much initially spent Oh, no, spent you, you spent two. It was two? I yeah, and then the you've upgraded it I think over... I talked the guy down, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. Then I bought the PC because it was like for a PS5. But anyways, yeah, I, I probably spent initially like 2,500 bucks on yeah. sim. And I was like, that's four, that's three, four track days. And I have, I think, 800 hours on a set of Corsa. Yeah. And that's a lot. That's, yeah. that's all seat time, too. That's not me just fiddling around and doing donuts and rollbacks silly guys um but yeah i think it's awesome and i've learned so much from sim and i can't praise it enough and i'm i'm glad i got back into it but now so i think the hard the hardest part about where i'm currently at is now i know i'm a good driver mm -hmm. and i really am just really i'm ready to prove it well and people are seeing that like when you the yeah. the last round at um oklahoma full yeah, and I've, I've even gotten I've gotten so much even since, since then. then. But yeah, everybody was like, "Okay, you like, you have that skill." Yeah, I it's been I, it's it's now to the point to where, and it's like this is not me people pleasing or anything, but I really like. There's a lot of people, even locally, that I respect a lot, and mm -hmm. it would be nice to have that respect back, back. Yeah, and so it's like that um, makes sense. Yeah, and it's 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 a I'm in a frustrating part because like I know I'm a good driver and like I can go out there and prove myself, but I don't quite yet have the stuff ready to go yeah so that i can you know be out there every track day and stuff like so it's kind of like a, a toss-up it's a little frustrating yeah when i feel like people people have felt like it's a cop-out of like oh the car wasn't ready or the car didn't perform but like really you've had so many issues it, i mean and a lot of people i mean look at so look, i'm excited yeah. i'm excited about this year because like you should have a handful of cars that are tuned in dialed in yeah ready to rip well i can hop into i honestly i confidently say i can hop into just about anything that's like even moderately prepped now and i can i can drive handle it, really well. it. okay so but, i'm curious as somebody that doesn't know anything about drifting uh -huh. how do you get how do you get so close to a wall and not hit it you'd have to well for the like how that proximity so I think that that's sort of a skill that can't be taught. Is like the, I was like I don't I would like, never I be able to do spatial, that. Spatial spatial awareness. I mean that's literally a, that's a thing. But um, I think that a lot like you can draw you can be a you can be an absolute idiot and have okay. no spatial awareness. You can be a really good driver, but you're never going to be a good competitor because you don't have that spatial awareness like where you are. But okay. I think that's like an untaught, unlearnable skill. Maybe it's an I don't know. It's experience, whatever. But um, it's honestly you have to have a really good you have to so. You have to have a really good tire. Okay. And that's why, like, I think it's really important why I say, like, Accelera, because they always have stuff in stock. You need to run the same tire all the time, regardless whether it's Accelera or, you know, ZTEX. Or Is that just it's, learning well, how it's, the it, tire you performs? Need you need, no, you need consistency, because your car is going to do something different every set of tires you're on. Okay, okay, And yeah. so, and that also has to do with, like, 
just again, it's experience and it's how your your chassis is aligned. Like um, a lot of so, like this car, my my 370, it's going to have a lot of forward bite. Meaning, basically, when I drop the clutch and I'm on the gas, it's going to start going forward. Yeah. So I can be like, you know, sideways or reverse entry type thing. As soon as I drop the clutch, it's going to grip up and it's going to start going where I'm, you know, where my eyes are looking. Okay. But honestly, the entire, if I could summarize drifting, it is, aside from muscle memory, it is 100% where your eyes are. Okay. If your eyes are in the wrong spot, you're going to do the wrong thing. Even with tandeming, if you're not looking at the right part of the car in front of you. Yeah. Okay. So explain that. How? Because um, I see the footage between like you and somebody else or even other people's footage of like, y'all are going side by side and you like, y- you could barely clip it, but you're not clipping the back. Yeah. And, like, uh, how do you time that? Um, That was a lot of practice. And I think that's like, that was, the, that's the thing that I have really, really improved on because the last comp I was at, I wasn't good at tandems at all. Okay. Um, but now that I've really learned, so I've hopped into a set of Corsa lobbies with random people. And I think like <laughs> learning to drive behind terrible people has actually taught me really quickly on how to follow really well. Is it like, um, do you have to be confident in that person? And if not, like have really um, quick reactions? So the thing is like, you're never going to be that close to somebody when you're not in a competition. So okay. that's kind of the thing. Like if you're at a grassroots event and you're kind of just doing hot laps and stuff, you're drip. Unless it's your buddy, you're never going to be that close. Okay. Because inconsistencies are all over the place. And, I mean, you can still follow somebody. If you're really good at driving, you, you, you'll you avoid mistakes and stuff like that from yeah. the person in front of you. But, yeah, usually you're not going to get that close unless you're competing. Okay. But, like, how in in the tandem switches? Like, where are you That's looking? How t- timing. So, um, Luke Fink actually told me, and I, I put this into, into practice, and it was it's very effective. So... It's gonna it's gonna feel like you as a as a follower, you know, your your chase chase you're car. You're You're supposed to like flick and initiate what the lead car is doing before they do it, and so, so you anticipate what and they're so gonna like, do. Yeah, um, and you know the track too. Like obviously, like there, that's why you have zones and stuff on the track. Okay. Like you know that lead car is supposed to hit said inner clip outer zone. Okay. That sort of thing. So, and if they're not doing that, then they don't have a follow, like a chaseable line. And then that's, you know, that's deemed. So there is like a little bit of a a puzzle that you're following. Um, As long as you're following a map. Yeah. So a a good chase has to have a good lead. Well, of course. Yeah. So, yeah. You wouldn't just do it with like some random that's on there. You know, you wouldn't. But no, that's a good point that like you, if it's a good lead, like you know the line that they should be doing. So it's easy to. Yeah. To because an- I've anticipate. Yeah, because I've practiced on the track all day and I know the zones, the yeah. clipping points. That the makes a lot more stuff. sense. Because I was but, like, in my mind, I'm like, oh my gosh, the they're thing. turning. I kind of turned to. But that's the thing too. When, when <laughs> I was, I mean, because I, I just kind of put myself straight into a comp. Like it, I, it was kind of bad at first. But there's a lot of things though. You have to be reading the, the, ch- the sorry, the lead. But you also need to know like track context. Okay. So a lot of times, like there's sometimes where you'll be door to door, you'll literally be like side to side. Yeah. There's sometimes where a really good chase is going to be, you're going to be back here. Your nose is going to be on there. I've, but won, because, I've seen that. Yeah. Because of the way that, you know, tracks, you, sometimes you'll have to shallow up, um, let go a because little like bit. Because like how tight? Because it, yeah, in like a tight corner, you'll have to do that. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's honestly, it's, con- it's contextual and it's one of those things that where it's like, that's what I was saying earlier, you, you can only get better at drifting because you yeah. learn something every Every lap you're driving, you'll learn something new. Is it good to door tap or is that bad? I mean, or is that it's kind of fun. A it's a fun thing, but it's kind of, it's like a door tap. Like how Luke, I was so, I was so I glad Luke I told Luke like to share that. Crash. I was like, dude, you got to share this on you. You're like, that's such a good thing. But like, yeah, we, like I'm going to use Garen as an example. Like <laughs> it was fun, but like bro, like door. That was a crash. Door, no, it wasn't technically a crash. I mean, he still, he still doored me. He really? quarter paneled me, but like <laughs> you have to be so in control. It's a dooring should be like a tire mark on your car, not a dent. Right. Right. And so a lot of people get a little anxious and like hyped up that they're getting close and they don't know how to slow up and keep the proximity. Oh. And so they'll just kind of bang. And then okay. so they'll use you as their brakes. They don't let And off. then your door now has a dent. Gotcha. But dooring no dooring is the idea. Yeah. I mean, if you can put a tire mark on somebody's door as you're chasing them, you will win uh, 11 times out of 10. Gotcha. Okay. 
now I'm just to the point to where like, I know, I know all this and I'm capable of all this, but it's like, I'm so I'm itching to get like, it sucks that I can't be at the world tour this year because yeah. I don't have a car that's like, I mean, everything that I have is so close. But I it's know. Just, I'm just going to miss it, like, just barely. It was such an early... I wish it was, like, a month later. Yeah, if it was in, like, May, 100% I'd be there. But yeah. it's it's kind of an early event. But, yeah, it's just... I'm sitting here like, well, I have the experience. And the only way to also, like, get... You can learn a lot on a Sim 2, but you have to apply it. Yeah, Once you it can get, only take not, you so far. You're going to hit a, a ceiling at some point, and then you're going to need to go drive an actual car. Yeah. And then get back in the seat and then apply what you've learned. So, I don't know. I'm getting to the point where it's like, I really need to go do some comps. I need to do, you know, yeah. friendly weekend stuff. I, I just want to get on track really badly. Yeah. That's why, like, the BMW has been such a heartbreak for me. It's been so frustrating. Yeah, that's why I literally, for four or five months. Like, I think I'm literally going to have this S13 running before that damn BMW <laughs> correctly. Yeah. I say that. It might actually be pretty soon, but I don't know. I'm excited, though. I think it's, it's been a good year. I'm thinking so. Yeah, I'm thinking so. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really, I'm honestly just really ready to earn. Like, I don't even like not even regain, but like, I just, I lost a lot of respect. Or yeah, people lost a lot of respect. I think for me, because of the way that I had handled my myself and you know the cars and stuff like that in the mm -hmm. past. With you know when I was hiding my anxiety and stuff. So um, it'll be nice to get back out there and and uh, I don't know. I'm excited. Show them up. Just be like, oh wow, yeah. he really he really put the time and effort into this. It'll be cool. It's gonna be really good. So this year, so obviously you're not going to make um, World Tour because that's literally next week, mm -hmm. which is the week this is going out. Oh my God, but, that is next week. Wow. Yeah, I think it's a week from today. That's nuts. Which is a bummer. But what what does your schedule look like this year? What are you wanting to do? Um, so the, the nice thing is my Pro-Am season doesn't, was it July? It doesn't start till July. So I have a ton August. of- August. Something like that. Yeah. But I got a ton of buffer to like get the car dialed in. I think my goal is to just be present. Yeah. You know, I want to be as present as I can while I distracted. Is it really next week? I really wanted to go to, dang it. I really wanted to go to, um, mid pond, mid pond. Mm -hmm. I'm a car ready for that. Yep. Here's paint the Miata real quick. And oh, do you have to be one color? Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to show up with the car looking like that. You guys haven't seen it yet, but <laughs> I'm doing a lot to it. There's, there'll be a video here pretty soon talking about that, but it's like three colors right now. I really just want to be, I really want to be present in the world of drifting. Like I want to do drift like, weeks. Um, like in person at events. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Kind of no, thing. I just want to do as much as possible. And I think, I think FaceTime is going to be something I just, I have missed out on so much FaceTime over the years. In a lot of ways. Yeah. In a lot of ways. And so I think that just being at the track, especially with just like the, um, not, yeah, not to mention the, um, coverage, media coverage and stuff like that. You'll get, yeah. I mean, once people see that I'm throwing reverse entries with, you know, with ease, It'll be cool, you know? It's like, I, I can't wait to see myself finally you know, I watch videos of myself be like, oh, yeah, I told you guys I could do it, you know? Yeah. yeah. It'll be nice. Um, but, yeah, I really want to focus, like, I, obviously, like, I think this could be a whole nother conversation, but um, I think a lot of people are just, like, super eager to get into, like, they're like, I have to compete. I have to compete. Mm. I have to go pro. And that's not, it's kind of sucks because it makes people who, like, well, I don't know how to say this, but, like, in my situation i just want to do it to prove myself that i can yeah um but i also just want to enjoy the sport and drive as much as i can as well i want to do the comp stuff like for me but i think ultimately my my main goal and the, also the reason why the 370s is not like, like a crab walking like a crazy high horsepower i was I, I really want to focus on just grassroots stuff okay um i think it's really important to just get out there and just do all the fun days and I think grassroots is fun because like you get the most seat time. Like that's why a lot of like the, like the S13 is not going to be a grassroots car. I'll bring it to some events, but it's going to shred through tires because it's going to make so much power. Okay. Um, the IS probably going to shred through. Eh, it will be like low, but like I'm keeping all my cars like mid to low horsepower because I want to preserve the car and drive as much as I can. Yeah. And so, and I just, yeah, I just want to do stuff like drift week um, mm -hmm. to where like, that was the idea for honestly, the whole BMW build was like, I, I want it to be for, for a drift, for drift week, week yeah. I want to put, you know, a roof rack on it, strap tires to that, you know, put tires in the back, you know, have literally 20 tires, not 20, but you know, yeah. a bunch of extra wheels and tires, use that the whole week. Maybe make a little trailer or something like that. Something funny. To oh, wait. So I didn't, I didn't know that you literally drive the car. Oh yeah. You drive the car. Oh, you're not trailering. No. What? No. Yeah. You drive the cars. That was, that's the point. I was okay. When you were saying but that last night, I was like, why are, the, why are you talking about driving it on the highway? Yeah, no, that's, that's it. But like, that's the point of it's like, a rally kind of thing. 
Yeah, no, that's exactly what it is. Okay, so, yeah. a, a drift rally. But um, that's kind of the point, and I think Aaron, I think Aaron was the first one to do it. Uh, I, I mean, he obviously owns Drift Week, but he um, it's a cool idea, and I think that that's like it, that's what grassroots is all about. Yeah. If you can't drive your car to the, to and from the track, then yeah, like I'll, I won't because it's a luxury. I, I'd rather just trailer it because if I break down, you know, whatever. But it yeah, makes like, sense. <laughs> I have a trailer. I want to use it. So right. And I like my uh, AC, and I don't like driving an S13 with really old coilovers three <laughs> For hours. Four hours. <laughs> you know, that's just not fun at some point. But it's yeah. cool that the that a, it, it's cool that a car can do that. Yeah. Anyways, that was the point of the BMW. That so makes sense then. Okay. That was the whole point. Making like making connections. Yeah, and that's why like that's why I didn't go like you know crazy FDF angle or anything like that on that car. Oh, okay. Because you know it's it's one you know lower control arm like it's, it's not sketchy driving 120 miles an hour. Not that FDF is sketchy, but it's like when you have that many moving parts, even wise fat. It's like I wouldn't want to drive a, a a big angle car, you know. Road trip it. Road trip it. Yeah. Yeah. So that I makes think sense. It's, <clears throat> I think it'll be, I mean, I know the BMW will be fun, but it's just been such a letdown. Yeah. It's been so silly. Hopefully we'll get that figured out soon. What's your plan? My plan? For drifting. For drifting? I'm, I'm just so excited because like I see the skill, I hear everything that you're saying, but I, I mean. You still haven't actually like seen me drive though. No. I guess in one, one or two I events. went to your last comp and then I went to the thing at TMS for Clayton Culture. Or no, it was Oh it? yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was clean culture. Yeah. Um where you won and people didn't Oh no, that was that was uh that wasn't clean culture. It was um Urban. Urban. But Monday night madness. Oh that's who yeah. it was, yeah. Um where people didn't even know that was you <laughs> in the car. It was yeah. great. But no, I, I feel bad because I still get so nervous for you because like go, even if I'm not there or if I'm there and you're like coming towards the wall, I'm like, don't hit the wall, don't hit the wall. Go ahead. Unless something oh my gosh, like you didn't I can, hit the wall. yeah. I mean, especially with how much seat time I've had, I, I can promise you, like, unless something breaks, I'm not gonna crash. Well, and part of it's just because of, I guess my me being naive and not knowing that's the, the thing. skill that's, behind I it. I think that's why. Yeah, I mean, that's the whole point, though. Yeah, yeah. that's why drifting is so cool because really, like, you're. You're not defying edge. physics. You're you're taking advantage of every bit of physics you can. Yeah. Um, and I think that's why it's fun to do. Like people love. That's why it's, it's a, ride-alongs. You can charge a hundred dollars because, like, if you're really a good driver, you, that's that's a that's an experience. That's true. If you're especially yeah. on a fast track and you're in a car that you know cost a hundred thousand dollars to build, it's like oh, a hundred bucks for a for this car that's, you know, 120 worth 120 K and this dude that's been driving for 12 years. Like I yeah. get to all, so hell yeah. But it's, yeah. I think, I think, um, I'm kind of excited that you're going to finally be at events when I'm, you know, actually good. Not just like learning. Yeah. When I had to, somebody, I posted, what was it? Um, Oh, it, as silly as it was coming back from Ennis when we had that private day, mm -hmm. um, I had posted on my story that I was so excited that the girls are finally at the age where we can go. And yeah. um, that was one of the biggest things when we had the girls. That's why she hasn't been, by the way, for the record. We, well, I mean, that's one of the things that I was going to expand on. But um, yeah, like that was one of the hardest things when we had Gabriella was my life shifted so much because I was yeah. in the garage with you all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and I was at events with you all the time. And now it's like, okay, I had the girls. And Somebody replied, they're like, well, I mean, we it's took hard our for us to do a 30 minute podcast. It's hard. <laughs> yeah. But it's like somebody replied, well, why, why don't, why haven't you taken them? Like we've taken our two year old and like, I know Nate just brings his kid everywhere. Yeah. And I think part of it was you told me some of the events, especially with the 240, it's like, Hey, the car's not dialed in. Like there's no yeah. way knowing how this weekend's going to go. So you didn't want me to pack everything up and like bring the girls yep. and all that kind of stuff just for like a one yeah. lap thing. So, but now it's different. But I'm so excited. Yeah. And I'll, you know, I'll and have Gabby, the Z. Gabby between the Z and it. the S13, I mean, uh, comps and ride along events and stuff like that. Yeah. Two cars that are just going to be so, so dialed in. Yeah. So I'm, when you're asking like for me, I'm just, I'm nervous because that's just me. <laughs> I'm ready for you to actually go for <laughs> But I'm ride. excited to go like to the events again because I've really, really missed that. Yeah. It'll be fun. Yeah. I'm just honestly, I'm, if the budget allows it, you know, I'm, I'd like to just, I'd like to be at every event that I can Yeah. and go all over the place. I'd like to travel a bit more this year. Um, like I said, I wanted to go to mid pond, but want to go to mid pond, wanted to go to Cali Bakersfield. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's like, we're in a weird season right now. Be able to paint the Miata this week. Mm-hmm. We'll see. <laughs> this rattle can Just it. Send it. Just send it, dude. That's I'm actually going to rattle can it. Yeah. <laughs> they haven't told they haven't told YouTube that yet, but I'm going to make but like I know how to detail so well. It's gonna oh, it's gonna come out like, amazing. Yeah, you're I'm so gonna, artsy. But like, I'm you also can... going to do 2K. Like, it's going to be like, you know, legit rattle can. It's not going to be like you know, Krylon. Right. You know? It's not going to be some dumb some dumb stuff. But yeah. But yeah, I think that's, I don't know, that covers some of the bases um, with drifting. I probably could talk about drifting all day. It's literally, well, see, it's literally is, consuming like, my life now. So. Yeah. And because I don't know, I still don't know much about it. I don't even know what to ask you, but I feel like we covered a lot. Yeah, it's a good it's a good way to be present with all the other YouTubers and stuff, my friends. You know, everybody's yeah. doing it now, in in a good way. You know, it's like yeah, you go see your your boys. It's a good community too. Like you'll you'll know you'll you'll learn when you go to the track. Like people are so nice, most of them. When I, I think it's, be like the, it's shifted over the years. Where at first I I feel like there were some drifters that had been in it for a while, and they're like, who are all these new people? And especially the influencers yeah, well, and yeah, I, don't know. I mean, there's always going to be hostility like that in every avenue but like i mean people still people talk mad smack about adam lz and he's literally doing drift masters yeah you know, it's like people just and like be, hosting just world tour and yeah i mean people's gonna be whining and complaining so it is what that's it is. true can't please everybody mm-hmm. well i think that's that's all i have to say sounds great to me okay well um actually seriously though i do have a, a tire streets just did a whole like they revamped their whole thing if you guys need tires i'm just going to use this as the sponsor of the video Seriously, uh, I cannot praise Accelera enough. They're fantastic. Um, 651s are great. They're good track tires, but they also have HP 1000s. Like if you need uh, tires for your daily, I have tires from Tire Streets on my truck. That's oh, what I yeah. use on, yeah, like I, all of my stuff. There's normal tires too. You don't have to get, you know, dr- just drift tires, but there's like, you know, you can, ha- I have a discount code you can use. You don't have to pay full price for tires, but it also helps me a ton because that's how I, that's how I get discounts on tires is by you clicking on the link, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, Accelerus or Tire Streets has been amazing. So click on that link. That'll uh, help us out a lot. I need to start promoting that more often, to be honest, because they see like the people that well, have I clicked it. Say, I don't think I've even promoted it yet. So they're probably like, what is Evan doing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When I would say like random plug for any influencer, not necessarily that you have to buy whatever they're doing, but even if you just click on it, they see how many people click on yeah. the link and they're like, oh, people are actually go looking. Browse. Go browse. If I, yeah. Does does wonders whether it's whether it's uh, tires or anything uh, influencer promotes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that's it for today. I think yeah. we're gonna go ahead and swoop it up. You have you have any uh, advice for the for the fam today? Oh gosh. Um. Put you on the spot. I feel like sometimes life can be overwhelming, and just take it a day at a time. I'm I'm a type the type of person that gets caught up in a lot of the what ifs, mm-hmm. and I'm a planner, and so I'm like, well, if this happens, this 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 this, this. and I've wasted a lot of time, energy, mm-hmm. emotion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, um, I've let it rob my peace, and so yeah, if there's if there's uncertainty in your life, like don't. I think there's there's wisdom in saying, okay, this is where I'm at, and this is what could happen, and just kind of being aware, but planning every single detail of. A what if or multiple what ifs mm-hmm. is it's not worth it. It's not worth it because there's a lot of what ifs I had that didn't even happen. <laughs> yep, exactly. So exactly. I think that's it. Protect your peace. Don't walk down the stairs expecting to fall. Yeah, I've done that and I fall. See you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>